Good morning, guys. I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage. I also have a website. You can find the link to that in this video description below. And if you are looking for any of the supplies, you can go right to my website through that link. It will take you to Amazon, but it's a big help if you go through my website to make all of your purchases. Upcycle with Decoupage is also on Facebook. If you'd like to go over there, you can actually post pictures of your work with Decoupage because it is an open page. Uh, with that said, here is the project that we'll be working on for today. We'll be decoupaging this snowman family onto a canvas bag. For the supply list, you can go on over to my website. The link is below. So I took this canvas bag and I turned it inside out and I took some Krylon fusion paint, spray paint for plastic, and I put it all over the inside, both sides, because I kind of want to waterproof this even though I'm not going to wash it. I still want to make sure it's nice and sturdy and got a good base on the inside. Once it's dry, just turn it back the right way so that it's now right side out. Put a piece of wax paper inside the bag. Use regular old acrylic paint, and I'm also using some gesso. And make sure you use a chip brush to get into all of the fibers to paint this. Follow all of those same instructions on the other side and when everything's dry we're going to add decoupage glue and I'm using this chip brush again and I'm going to cover most of the surface. You don't have to cover the whole surface. Don't worry by the way this decoupage glue does dry clear and I'm using a matte decoupage glue. I'm using this fine artist's paintbrush dipped in water to go around the napkin and just I'm going to tear away just the part of the napkin that I want to use. I don't want to use this whole square piece. Now once the decoupage glue dries, we're going to take our iron and a piece of parchment paper, place the napkin down where you want it, put your parchment paper over it so it does not burn, and put the iron down over it and just iron the whole thing down very, very thoroughly. Just want to make sure all of the ends are down and it's all stuck on there nicely and repeat the same process on the opposite side. Now I'm using my chip brush again just to pounce on a little bit of the gesso to make it look a little more like snow down here. Yeah. 
And once that's dry, I'm painting a clear surface. I'm sorry, I'm painting decoupage glue over it, which will dry clear. Just make sure everything's dry. And now we're going to let this dry. And then we're going to add the Martha Stewart all-purpose glitter paint. This is the color Sugar Cube, just in the snowy area. And then I'm taking this three-dimensional paint and I'm just going to go around the border of the napkin so it almost looks a little bit like it's outlined in snow. So here's our completed project for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for subscribing. Angie, Jennifer, and April Ann, I love hearing from you guys on my Facebook page. I love hearing from all of you on Facebook. But you guys are really doing some beautiful work over there. Thank you for posting and keeping in contact with me. And I will see you guys next week. If you've got any questions, please post them below. Any comments, also post them below. I'll see if I can give you a hand. Uh, take it easy, guys. Bye.